That's what we call it, Gunner Fridays. Franklin, we've been spectating here a lot. Nice kill on Victrix. Victrix is low. She stays down there. She goes down. Put you got the Fuya. Fuya is one of those players that can definitely spark her team if she's playing at a high level. And this is pretty much this is pretty much a warm up game here. Fuya, woo, OG Dork, playing extremely well right here. Nicely done by OG Dork. Thirty seconds. Franklin, nicely done. Yes, two piece by Franklin. Where's the biscuit? Where is the biscuit? No biscuit. Oh, Ventrix says no biscuit with that one. Get out of here. 16 seconds left and a thrashing right now by the SAS. Oh, my goodness. A nasty beatdown. 10 seconds and counting. Uh, and uh, I would just, if, if I'm as fast as let's just get out of this round, you know, down 6-0. <laughs> Donut on the board for the Spesnats team. If you like Krispy Kreme donuts, definitely go talk to Spesnats team because they're dropping them right now. We're going to see what happens in the second half here. Again, could this be the tell of two halves? I was in the GB match earlier today where a team went up against us. They dropped five flags on us. We came back and dropped five of our own, tying it up and going on. So we're going to switch sides now take a look at this very talented SAS team led by OG Dork as she's on her way. Woo! Pass the rubble! And no, she, yes, she does! She does start things off with the first blood, but Love OB takes her down. She's sneaky, sneaky, and Voodoo Doll, along with Victrix, who goes down right there, rounding off this very talented SAS squad. And uh, right now, it looks like this best Nats team is coming out on fire. They're, they're, they've outslayed them to this point for the second half. Now it's all about getting in position and seeing if we can, you know, if they can return the flag home for the capture. And that's going to be tough because you got a very hungry team here in SAS. They're not going to let it go lightly. Four minutes approaching and counting. Dashboard Queen with the beautiful MP5-7 kill there, followed up by Victrix on Franklin. Oh, my goodness, Victrix with a two-piece, three-piece. And it almost seemed like all we were going to see here on the, on the scoreboard, scroll bar here on the left was uh, Victrix with kill after kill after kill. She's one of those players who can definitely hold her own. Franklin with a two-piece there. She's sneaky. One shot. We're going to switch off of her. Nothing going on there. Voodoo Doll holding down top mall. Nothing there. Switching off. Beautiful golden scar. She's sneaky with a knife and a bullet to the, to the chest probably right there. Victrix moving in. Off we go to the races here, looking like LaDainian Tomlinson, 2003 LT. Will she score? She's stunned. She's stunned. Bobblehead time. Bobblehead. She could go all the... Yes, sir. Flag cap. SAS. They have extended the lead to seven flag caps in a row. Uncontested. Uncontested, folks. Again, you find yourself in situations where you're playing with, you know, familiar teammates players that you may have played in scrims before players you possibly have teamed up with before and it looks like the sas team is very comfortable playing together right now as they're running off flag after flag victory's trying to get a position here clearing it out this is one thing that we definitely don't see in pubs when you play ctf uh <laughs> a lot of players are just running around like a chicken with their head cut off running for the flag victory has numbers she's got bullets going to her backside as they zip 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 right past her she could go all the way again victory for two Two times! She's a two timer, man! Two timer with that second flag cap right there. Playing a little bit of OBJ right there. OBJ swag in the building right there. Two minutes and 30 seconds counting. She sneaky gets caught looking. Top mall as Franklin comes in. ACR 6.8. I think we should probably go to a listen. Let's go to a listen right now. Let's see what this SAS team is talking about here. Enjoy this one, folks.
not too much going on there. It's uh, really quiet there. And again, sometimes you may be, you know, extremely comfortable or uncomfortable. And you don't even need to call out. It's OG Dark. No! Stopped way short. 26. We've got three players on pace. And we probably had about 60 more seconds. The score is 30, 30 kills. And again, I know we don't want to truly focus on the kills, even though we are, because that is how you're going to be able to get MVP unless you count like 20 flags and your score is going to go so high you're at the top of the list. But again, we got three players on this SAS team in double figures. Do we have anybody with a double-double? Nobody with a double-double. Victrix is close to a double-double. Not going to be able to get it here. Five seconds left. A much better play by the Spesnaz team, but not enough to slow down this high octane style of Call of Duty that we're seeing, and we just saw here uh, by this SAS team. 27, 27, 26, nasty, nasty. OG Dork, you're on to the next lobby. Victrix and Voodoo Doll, stand by. You're up next as well. We're gonna see what happens here. Don't go anywhere, folks. We got a whole lot more Call of Duty coming. We're gonna go ahead and disband the lobby. Boom! Y'all thought I was playing about that, huh? I'm not playing. <laughs> We're going to start this thing up again. We're going to start it. I feel so bad, though. And I shouldn't even be laughing. But like I said, man, we're going to get fresh faces in the lobby. We're going to continue to play. OG Dark, nicely done. What a way to start off ladies' night. Victrix and Voodoo Doll making great teammates as well. The SAS team with Monkey Donkey, to say the least. That's better than going Beast Mode or you know, Martian, whatever you want to call it. They went bananas. Nicely done by OG Dork. We're going to continue here as our next map is set to see Bootleg here. And we're going to go ahead and get OG Dork in the lobby. And let's go ahead and head over to Twitter to see what players are going to be coming in. Shoutouts to Miss Gilly. Inviting people to come in. She's in the chat box. Show her some love, folks. Show all the people some love. This is what we do, man. It's always fun to get the community together. And I think we need to do more of this. Now, check this out, man. MLG up in the air. Gears has... Uh, what is it? Get, what did they have? Hype Fest Station? That's cool. I mean, what do we have to do to make Call of Duty have schooly? I'll back it. Just let me know how. Hey, I'll put it out there. It's up to y'all to get the word out to make it happen. Let's see what we can do, man. We're going to keep it pushing. Let's see what's going on here as we head over to the Twitter. I got this little phone. I can't wait uh, to get my upgrade. <laughs> I'm like on Jitterbug swag right now. If you don't know what Jitterbug is, you pretty much got to be like, you know, AARP status, 50 and above. I shouldn't say that because when you turn 30, you get an AARP letter in the mail as well. So. Ah, uh, it is what it is, man. It is what it 